A woman from Madison Heights took her passion for flying to new heights by setting a world record. She says none of it would have been possible if she hadn't landed a job with the right boss who helped her honor a family legacy. Kim DiGiulio takes us to a small airport in Canton for this amazing journey. Setting a world record on a flight is one thing, but for Taylor McNeil, her world record setting flight had a much deeper meaning. My day job is in dentistry. My fun is in aviation. Taylor McNeil's love for aviation came from her grandpa, who was a professional pilot. So my entire life, anytime it was grandpa in the area, it was all about airplanes. But she pursued her passion for dentistry and became a dental hygienist, only to end up working for Dr. Demray of Preservation Dental in Northville, who is also a pilot. Her first day on the job, she had a question. I said, yes, what's well, the question? She says, I want to learn how to fly. How do I go about that? The rest is history. Taylor received her pilot's license in 2017, but Taylor wasn't stopping with just a license. Well, Dr. Demery had approached me and said, hey, uh, there's an organization that has world records for flying. Is this something you would be interested in doing? And I was like, yeah. On October 1st, 2020, Taylor set an aviation world record for flying from Chicago to Omaha in just under three hours in this 1959 Propeller Piper Comanche aircraft that belongs to Dr. Demray, who also served as her crew on the record-setting flight. That this is a pretty quick airplane for its weight, so it's a good one to set out to do a speed record in. But the destination was significant. Nebraska is where Taylor's grandpa lived. And the destination was really chosen because I thought that she should see her grandfather and he should see her in an airplane. It was the first and last time her grandpa would see her fly. He passed away in 2021. And while Taylor will always remember this flight as a world record setting one, it will always be special to her because it was her final goodbye to her grandpa, the one who passed that passion of flying onto her. So he got to stand on the edge of the runway, watch us take off. And of course, as we were departing, kind of toggle the wings a little bit to say goodbye to him. And so it really was kind of like a movie. Taylor's advice to anyone out there is to not let your day job define you. She says that if you have a hobby, spend time pursuing that as well. Reporting from Canton, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Taylor received recognition this past year for her accomplishment. Now, while that flight was special, Taylor is also eager to set more world records. Her boss currently holds five aviation world records.